Um, so this is about uh, the beginning part of building your app. Now we'll, we'll give, um, now I will ask my colleague Arne Posma to join me and to um, uh, tell you everything about the uh, pro version of App Machine. So Arne, are you ready? <laughs> So good afternoon, everybody. My name is Arne Posma. I'm CIO of App Machine. Um, I wanted to tell you something about the uh, exciting features that we recently launched in March uh, regarding our Pro version. Um, I have made a small uh, overview of the topics which I'm going to cover today. Um, so I wanted to talk about three main items here. Uh, the first one would be um, how to work with Excel. I'm going to show you a few examples what you can do with an Excel import. Um, we have a few different blocks available which you can use uh, if you are using uh, a data source like Excel. I'm going to talk you through them. Um, you have two different ways of styling them. We offer you a very uh, easy and uh, simple one. It's, uh, it's, it's visually. I'm going to show you that. Uh, but we can also use your own designers and you can bring in your own uh, custom HTML or CSS coding. Um, which I'm going to show you as well. Uh, then finally in that part uh, I'm going to show you how to use uh, dynamic data um, for each item in a list. That sounds a bit technical but I'm going to talk you through it. Then uh, the second topic uh, is going to be about web services. It, it's slightly uh, the same as the first one except in this example we will use a live feed from a website. And finally I wanted to show you our form builder, which is currently in beta, but um, it's already containing some, some very nice features. So there you have it. Um, let's start doing this. Um, all right, so for this example, I'm going to, to make a new app. We call it um, an Excel demo app. And I'm going to skip most of this part and go right ahead and add an Excel sheet. Now, um, I'm going to go to the Pro Features here and start with the Excel block. Hit Add Block. And in here, I have the possibility to either use the App Machine demo file, which is already in here, which you can use if you don't have every, anything available yet and you can just uh, play around with it. But for now, um, I wanted to use my own one, so let's do the upload. I have here an Excel sheet prepared. It's actually one that I got from a client of ours. Um, this uh, sheet contains a lot of data. Actually, it has four tabs. Um, so, and the first one contains product information. And in here, you can see all the different fields that this product information contains. So. You can see the, the field types over here. Uh, right now, our wizard thinks it's all text. Um, now, I have one of them here. It's, it's a German one. It's called uh, an image. Right now, the Excel thinks it's, uh, it's a URL, but we're going to change it into something else, namely uh, an image. And I'll tell you in a minute why we're going to do this. Now, uh, this is handy because if you bring in data and we don't recognize the data, you can always change it for yourself and use it later on. Um, we hit next, we call it uh, products for the example and we click finish. Now we're going to start out with two blocks. As you can see we have uh, a list block and the list block is intended to give you an overview of all the data which is in your current import. So with the data which is in your Excel app. If you go there you will see that I have uh, all the different records beneath each other and I can also click on one and if I click on one I go to a detail screen and in fact the detail screen will be this block the info block if I go to the info block you will see that it's a screen block so we have a list block in here and we have a screen block the screen block is intended for the details now um, if I go back to my main screen in here I have started out with uh, with the titles we can go ahead and visually enhance this presentation of the data. 
For now, I'm going to use this image, which I have here, and I'm just going to drag it in. And as you can see, I have the data uh, beneath each other, and I can scroll it. And it's really already becoming to start to, to uh, become something. Now, um, of course, I can play around with the data, make it a little bit bigger. Uh, I can even go ahead and bring other data in as, in as well. So, um, for example, if I have uh, something like this, a description, we can bring it in, in here. So this is the visual way to do this and to, to start building with your app. Um, now, as you can see, we have a little button here and it's called source. Now, if you have a designer and you want to completely restyle the look and feel of this uh, screen, we uh, allow you to do that as well. And for this, uh, I had one of our designers prepare a little bit of code for me because I'm not a coder. Um, but as you can see, I will bring it in here. Uh, this is HTML. Uh, I'm going to delete it and I'm going to paste in my new look and feel. And I'm going back to source. Now if I hit save, uh, the app will reload in here. Uh, click products. Here is my, uh, I think something went wrong, I see it. We have uh, a code highlighting, so if you make an error, you will see that it becomes gray like this, and then it doesn't work. And then if you fix it, you will have a completely different view of the products. And as you can see, this is really nice because you have the image, but we use an overlay. This is HTML, uh, CSS, and then we have the title, and here we have the, the short name. So. Um, Actually, this is the method if you have your own specific uh, style which you want to use in the app, and this is the way to do that. All right. So, and of course, you can go ahead and style each block as well. And uh, the same goes for this one. Another really advanced uh, way of working with data is the possibility to have data uh, as a source for your uh, functional block. And for that, I'm going to give you a demo of something else. I'm going to build a new app. Um, last year we did a conference in Brazil for the next web and we uh, were the um, uh, we were there and they had an app, uh, was built on App Machine of course and um, one of the features was uh, a screen where you can see all the speakers who were available at the Congress. Um, now I have an Excel with, that, with the information of all the speakers available as well. So let's go ahead and bring in the Excel file, um, upload a new Excel file again, and here I have the speakers. And again, I have multiple tabs in this file, and for the speakers I have some fields, so the name and also an image, but also, for example, a Twitter ID. And this is the ID which we're going to use um, in our new app. So Again, if I hit finish here, it will start out with an overview of all the speakers um, who are available. And now if I bring in the image, it will do exactly the same as we did before. And for now, if I bring in the Twitter here, you will see that he will use the Twitter name of the user and display it here. Now, this is not really what we want, because what we want is when we go to this person, so for example, this Gary Shapiro, actually what we want to do is bring in his Twitter feed not with a link, but the whole feed in itself. So what we can do is add a Twitter block to this screen. And uh, what we're doing in here is we go to block and we choose the Twitter block, add the block. And instead of having the username filled in, I use something else which is called the, um, the data feed, which we have in here. And I do it with these parentheses, I believe it's called. Um, and if you do that, it will bring up the data which is available in your app. And in this case, we want to use the Twitter uh, ID, so I'm just going to add it. It will add a new block in here. It's a yellow block, one that we made. And there you have it. Here is the Twitter feed. So uh, as you can see, my screen is split in two. I have a, a, a menu in here now. If I go back to info, I'll see the info of this gentleman. And if I go to Twitter, I see his Twitter feed. And the nice thing is, is if, if I go to the next speaker, uh, he will just go ahead and um, get the new feed from the, from the next speaker. This is really powerful because with this you can uh, use your data and, and have a really um, 
a powerful app uh, to work with. So this is uh, this is what I wanted to show you in short about Excel. You can do a lot of other things with it. Um, if you if you have an Excel file or if you have a customer who wants to use something like this, um, please feel feel free just to to test it out. Um, if you're stuck, just let us know. We can help you out as well. Um, now.